Hello, today we're going to learn about back rank mate. This is the most common checkmate pattern. It happens at all the levels. In this checkmating pattern, the king is stuck behind the pawns or some pieces. And if there's any check from this side, the king will get mated. As you can see in this position, if the white rook gives a check, black is forced to trade it out. And the king is stuck because the pawns are covering all the exit. And this is called a back rank mate. On to the first example, white to play and win. You see the black king and you see the three pawns covering it if there's a check from this side the king is dead how do you make that happen you start off with a rook sacrifice trading up the rooks and now there's no piece covering this rank your queen can go in and once the queen reaches the back rank it's a mate these tiny pawns betrayed the king on to the second example this time white is judith polgar and in this position the squares are covered by two tiny pawns and a dumb knight if there's a check from here it's a mate but currently if the rook goes here the knight is covering it so that looks like a mistake but no sack the rookie let the pony take it up because now the queen can go in and this square is covered by the queen and the other two are covered by the pawn on to the third example white to play and win this time the king is free to go no pawns here no pawns there where's the back rank you need to put a black piece here and push this king here to deliver a mate you do that by giving a check forcing black to put a black dumb rook here and then you need to push this king into the side you give another check with the queen pushing the king and instead of three tiny pawns we have three dumb pieces blocking the king from getting out and now you get the rook sliding in giving a nice sweet back rank mate next example white to play and win the pawn bishop and rook are covering it but this bishop can slide in and let the king run away. So you need to be smart. First, you give a check. The bishop blocks it. Then you give another check. The black king cannot go there. The bishop will die. Doesn't matter if the black blocks with the queen or rook. Because you will sacrifice the rook. King cannot go out. That's a mate. And if the black king eats up the rook, you see... This square is covered by the pawn, this square is covered by the rook, and this square is covered by the queen. So there comes your back rank mate. The second type of back rank mate is when you start off with a sacrifice to deflect a defender. In this position, the rook is defending the back rank. So you need to distract this dummy. You do that by sacrificing the fat queen. The rook is forced to eat up the queen, but now this rook is stuck. The bishop is spinning it completely and the back rank is safe for the rook to go in and beat up the king first example black to play and win this square is covered by the queen so rook can't go but but if you use your teeny tiny brain the rook can go in the queen cannot take it there's a mate on here so the only one option block it with the rook and now queen is the only person defending the rook covering the back rank deflect this dummy queen it's time to sacrifice the queen white takes up the queen but in the end this queen is pinned by the sniper bishop the rook is free to eat you eat up the rook you beat up the king next example black to play and win this rook is defending the back rank how do you hunt down the king distract this dummy by sacrificing the queen rook takes and now your rook goes in block eat block eat and win another example and black to play and win i know you want to make this rook go here and deliver a mate the knight will protect it so you need a distraction the best way to distract is to sacrifice the queen rook takes and now check no one can defend the king the pony goes the pony dies and the king cries the third type of back rank mate is it involves a zigzag maneuver to cut off the defense in this position the rook is covering the back rank so white starts off with a check king moves and now white gives a discovery check pushing the king into the corner at the same time the knight is covering the rook from covering this square so your rook can go in and deliver a back rank on to the first example white to play and win two fat rooks are defending the back rank how do you block them out you start off with a check push the king into the corner give a discovery check back into the corner another check king is out 
and now your pony, your super duper smart pony covers the rook. The f8 square is free to go. Once the king moves, your rook can slide in and win. On to the next one, black to play and win. You see this square is covered, the pawns are covering other squares. You know the pattern, sacrifice the queen, push the king into the corner and now only one defender left, that is the rook. Cover this out, how? Give a check, king comes out and then you block the rook out. The rook is blocked by the pony and once the king goes into the corner, you can give him the sweet sweet mate. Both type of back rank mate happens at all the high levels, all the super GMs do it. But they do it to defend or attack a piece. In this position, white plays queen here. Black cannot take the queen. The rook will slide in and deliver a mate. And there's no way for black to save this pony. Whatever he does, the knight is dead can't take it the back rank is there on to the first example white is levon black is boris what did levon do he played queen here no one cares about the pony because if the rook takes there's the back rank and once again there's no way to save the pony on to the next one white to play and win the king is so unsafe stuck on the back rank you strike him with a queen sacrifice open up the f5 and then strike with the bishop move if the queen takes the bishop it's a back rank and if the black thinks he can give a check no there's no way to save the mate the queen dies and the king cries on to the next one black to play and win if you look carefully the rook is only defended by the queen can you distract this queen yes you can you move the queen here ask him to take your queen because the rook dies and the king is dead and the best thing white can do is push the pawn and just lose the queen and just lose the game on to the next one black to play and win how did black exploit the weak back rank of white king and this juicy diagonal he started with the bishop move the white queen cannot take the bishop there's a back rank the white is forced to move the queen lose the rook and with extra pawn black will win the last example black to play and win can you find this amazing brilliant move the move is bishop here white once again cannot take the queen because the rook will go in and deliver a back rank mate cannot take the bishop and neither mate the rook is pinned what to do move the rook lose the knight lose the game 